I'm Jason at Ely Outfitting Company, and our guests commonly transport their rental canoes between our shop and entry points. We're going to show you in this video how to car top two canoes at once on top of your car. First, an overview of supplies. Now, we provide all the tie-down supplies free of charge with your canoe rentals, and you'll see what we're providing here. We have two uh, wooden 2x2s two with foam blocks, two black cam straps, four blue cam straps, a couple of hood loops, and four hood loop ropes. A couple of big picture concepts first. Now, for two canoes, you'll first build a canoe rack on your car using those 2x2s, two then the canoes are attached to the 2x2 two two rack. And remember to use caution with the wind, even a gentle breeze or just a sudden gust can blow your canoe off your car before it's secured properly. First, let's create uh, the canoe rack using the two by twos. Set the first two by two with foam blocks toward the front of your car on the roof. Um, open your front doors and hand the black cam straps buckle to your partner on the other side of the car. Um, who will loop the buckle over the 2x2 two two and send it back through the car. The other end of the black strap is looped over the 2x2 two two as well. Now push the button on the cam buckle and thread the strap up from underneath. Then tighten the cam strap to slightly compress the foam blocks. Then do the same with the other 2x2 two two, and remember to keep that second 2x2 two two positioned as far toward the other end of the car as is possible. Now, uh, you've just built a temporary canoe rack to secure uh, your canoes upside down on top of. So the first canoe uh, goes upside down on top of the 2x2 two two rack. Um, center it on one half of that rack. Now using a blue strap, toss the buckle over the canoe, loop it under the wooden 2x2 two two and send it back over the canoe. Uh, position the buckle so it's mostly up the side of the canoe so there's room to cinch it down. And loop the other end of the blue strap around the near side of the 2x2 two two rack. And make sure the blue straps are snug against the gunnel of the canoe where they loop around the 2x2 two two rack. This will prevent any wiggle room. So push the button on the cam buckle, thread the strap up from underneath. Uh, wrap the loose end of the strap around the 2x2 two two, and then tuck, it, uh, tuck in the tail end of the strap so it doesn't vibrate while driving and do the same for the second blue strap on the other 2x2. Two two. And then you'll just repeat the process for the second canoe on top of the rack. Finally, uh, you'll install hood loops and use hood ties to prevent any side-to-side -side movement of the front of your canoe and also to provide some added security. So open your hood and position the removable hood loops so they're to the size of the front handles of the canoes and then close the hood. You'll make an upside down V uh, using the two hood loop ropes tied onto the hood loops um, uh, for each of the canoes. Now at the shop, we use a trucker's hitch to tie these ropes but the knot you use to tie them off just needs to make sure that the front of the canoe doesn't have wiggle room side to side. And that's how we securely transport two canoes on top of one vehicle for your Boundary Waters canoe trip. <laughs>